Hello, viewers. Have you been well? I know I have been. Speed Racer 456V here with part two of my Transformers animated Voyager class Optimus Prime. Some would say that I know, I know, and I just want to apologise for the gap that I have left in between part one and part two. But the gap that I have left in between part one and part two of this guy's review will be no comparison to the gap of part one and part two of my next review. Because part one was uploaded like what was it? A, a year ago? <clears throat> or something? Part one was uploaded a year ago and part two is coming up after this guy's review. I think you can guess who I'm talking about. But yeah, um, so moving swiftly on to this figure. Um, articulation, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on this figure's articulation. Uh, the head rotates all the way around clockwise and anti-clockwise, as well as the arms from the shoulders. Um, there are actually three joints of articulation on the elbow, meaning that the lower arm can go backwards and forwards via the elbow, can turn in and out at the elbow, and has also got this other joint. Um, waist articulation. There is waist articulation for the pose ability, but I mainly use the waist articulation for the transformation. Um, this is actually going to be a bit awkward, since my tripod is having a spaz attack, meaning it is on backwards. Don't even ask. Okay. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking about it. I'm actually going to take the axe and jetpack type thing away because the handle was in a very wrong and misleading looking place. <clears throat> Sorry. But like, yeah, um, legs. Uh, the legs can go in and out. So basically forwards and backwards. They can also go in and out at the waist. Knee articulation, the knees can bend backwards and forwards and rotate all the way around. Um, there is foot articulation, but that's only for transformation purposes. And there's no wrist articulation. So, like, yeah. Okay, let's get, this trans let's get this reverse transformation on the road. I'm going to start off with the backpack, so you just fold this right thing down, fold down the sides, and fold the handle in. Now we move on to the figure. So down with the light bar, in with the head, oops. Um, up with the light bar, shoulder, shoulder, wrist. I'm actually <coughs> under a bit of pressure <coughs> with records in this, I should just see. Because my pair, because my mum... My sister have gone into town to return something that my sister bought yesterday, which she broke already. She didn't even have it for 24 hours and she'd already broken it. Um, the object of which I'm talking about will remain ominous. Because the last thing I want is the shop that she bought it from tracking me down. And I've got no idea whatsoever when they'll be back. So, like I said, I'm a bit... Oh, shit. I'm a bit under pressure when it comes to recording this. So, like, yeah. Okay, so there's the vehicle mode. All complete without the trailer. Um, the translucent gun that you saw me put into his hand in part one. I just like to put it here in front of the waist lever, as I call it. And for the trailer, slot it on, and then... Peg it onto the back bumper. Happy? Good. Oh, shit. I forgot to do the height articulation with this guy. But basically, <coughs> um, the figure you just saw me bring onto the screen was Movie 1 Fast Action Battlers Axe Attack Ratchet. And basically, Optimus is only just by a few inches 
taller than Ratchet. Okay, so there we go. So thank you, Optimus. Going to be a fire truck elsewhere. And now, oh wait, hang on. Actually, get back here. It is now time to put one of my new features with my reviews into play. And the feature is the new Would I Buy It feature that I told you about um, in the last few seconds of part one of this review. <clears throat> so bottom line, would I buy it? Well, for the quality that it's made for, um, I would say yes. It is isn't one of the best representations of the vehicle mode from Transformers Animated. I mean, if you want to bang on um, TV-esque Transformers Animated Optimus Prime Earth vehicle mode, then go and find um, that Nerf Blaster truck thing that Hasbro tries to make. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. And now, <coughs> and bring the tripod back up a little bit. Now to show you who I shall be reviewing next time. Cue the music. I'm not going to lie to you, that's me making the music. That's right, it's the return of this big bad motherfucker. <coughs> Transformers Cybertron Leader Class Optimus Prime. Look out for part two. That's right, part two after a one year gap. Of this guy coming up. Where we shall be starting from um, Super Robot mode. And then running you back through his other modes. So the portable trailer based mode. Um, the vehicle mode that you now see him in. The vehicle mode without the trailer. The flight mode. And another mode that I incorporated. Which I might have to squeeze into part 3 should I need to. Okay, so till next time, folks, this has been Speed Racer 456V. I'll see you all later.